Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making farro mushroom risotto. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today we have a delicious, rich and creamy farro mushroom risotto that we're making today. So we're gonna jump right in. There, there's a printable version of the recipe in the link in the details below. So I have one large onion that I've diced pretty small that we're gonna get frying first. And if you notice, I didn't put any oil in the pan because it's really not necessary. Um, you can cook it for just a few minutes without anything and then if it starts to stick a little bit, uh, I have vegetable broth from the recipe and I can, I'm just gonna put, you know, two or three tablespoons at a time just to keep those onions moving around. And they do just fine. So we're gonna cook these onions until they're translucent. So uh, two to three minutes, maybe, maybe five minutes on medium high heat. Okay, so now our onions are ready and we are going to put in our mushrooms. This is an eight ounce container of just regular uh, portobello button or button mushrooms uh, and that I diced up. I didn't make them really small, but if you have really picky eaters, you know, and they don't like mushrooms, make them really small. I've got three cloves of garlic here and that's also finely diced. And I'm not gonna add any more water yet because when you cook mushrooms down, they release a lot of water. So we're gonna cook the mushrooms and the garlic down here until it releases all of that water and then absorbs back into itself before we add anything else. All right, now our mushrooms are cooked down. Everything, oh gosh, this smells so good. So ladies, mushrooms, you need to get mushrooms in your diet if you can every day. It's a great, there's an article by uh, Dr. Furman about uh, if you eat mushrooms every single day, you will reduce your chances of breast cancer by 65%. So get those mushrooms in there. All right, so the next step is our farro. And yes, this is not a gluten-free grain, but you could use a uh, like a wild rice or even a brown rice. Uh, you might have to just watch it a little bit more carefully with the brown rice. Uh, because it's not quite as hearty as the farro is. So we're gonna put our farro in there. This is one and a half cups of farro and one teaspoon of thyme. And really, we're just gonna kind of dry fry it a little bit. And it just gives the farro a little bit of a toasty flavor before we add anything else to it. So I'm gonna do that for probably two to three minutes until I can see that the, the farro is getting a little bit brown. Today's show is brought to you in part by Complement. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant-based diet? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant-based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay guys, if you wanna come in and take a look before we add anything else, just to see what it looks like, so you know you're on the right track. This is all looking and smelling amazing. Okay, for our next ingredient. So this, this is great by itself, but if you wanna pump up that nutrition, we're gonna add chopped cabbage. And again, if you have picky eaters or you, know, you, have, you just wanna add some more nutrition to your meal, this is a great way to do that because if they are picky eaters, they're not gonna be able to tell that this is in here because everything is chopped really small and you're not gonna be able to tell that this is cabbage or that's mushroom. So let's get it in there. We've got three cups of diced cabbage. 
And then I'm gonna start with just probably one to one and a half cups of vegetable broth. And we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna let this cook until all of that liquid is absorbed. So probably, because you know your cabbage is gonna release some of its water, it's gonna take between five and 10 minutes to do that. So we're gonna put the lid back on, let that cook for just a few minutes, and then I'll show you the rest of the ingredients. Okay guys, you might wanna take a look at this. So it, all of that liquid is absorbed into there. So we have one more round of this with the rest of our vegetable broth. And I mean, you probably could put all of the liquid in there at the same time, but if you've ever made risotto before, even though this isn't your typical risotto, you, you put the liquid in a little at a time so that you don't over, I guess, over soak the grain and it gets uh, mushy and gummy. This allows it you to stop at a certain point when that farro is, is nice and chewy. So we're gonna add the rest of our vegetable broth here. And we're gonna put the lid back on and wait till that is all absorbed again. So just, a, you know, probably 10 more minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, eBooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay guys, here we go. It has soaked up all of that liquid and you can tell now, you can see the farro is starting to puff up a little bit. It's not quite done yet. So we're going to add our other ingredients here. I've got a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. Two teaspoons of tamari. This is a low sodium tamari. I've got three quarters of a cup of coconut milk. And if you want to make it uh, lighter, you can use the light coconut milk. Um, and then we have three quarters of a cup of the unsweetened soy milk or whatever plant milk you choose, but make sure that it's an unsweetened soy milk. Or I mean an unsweetened plant milk. Then we're gonna sprinkle some pepper in here. We're gonna stir it again. Make sure we get all of those ingredients stirred in there well. And then we're gonna put the lid back on again and let it soak up all of that liquid again. So another five to 10 minutes, but then we'll be finished. Okay guys, come on and take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, if you could only smell this, wonderful. Okay, and you know this is done. You take a cup, just one of the little grains of farro. Mm, it should still be very firm and chewy. Mm, I love it. So all that's left to do is I take the juice of half a lemon, squirt it over that, stir it in. And then I'm gonna grab a bowl and a spoon and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay guys, let's dig in. Ooh, -hoo. look at that. Oh, mm, it smells so good. Okay, this is still really hot, but.
So creamy and chewy, and those mushrooms. Mm. This is definitely all in one meal here. And there's enough that we're gonna have for leftovers, and it does great in the refrigerator a couple days from now. Mm. So be sure to give this a like, guys, and also hit that subscribe button because it really does help our show. And I'll see you back here next week for another great recipe.